Today I am going to talk about the new expansion for Time Stories and it's going to be Estrella Drive where you are going to go to the 1980s I think, yes, 1982 and you're going to go to this Hollywood party where some strange things are happening and I'm just here to give you my um, uh, opinion of this scenario and I'm of course going to do this spoiler 3 um, and I'm just going to tell you what I thought about this scenario. So, um, first of all, uh, I haven't played all the scenarios yet. I have played four of them, which uh, this one is the fifth one. And um, until now, the scenario that I liked the most was probably Marcy Case. I really liked the deduction uh, in that game. Uh, and the one that I did, did previously for this one didn't like. Uh, I think would probably be the first one, Asylum, because there, uh, if you didn't get some puzzles done, it really set, set you back and you had to do it all over again. And that just felt a little bit uh, too uh, fiddly for me. But I really like Marcy Case and I really like Time Stories for that. So what did I think about Estrella Drive? Um, the thing with Estrella Drive is, is that it really feels more like, um, like those old choose your own adventure uh, books. So it, um, it's not really, um, you don't really have to do a lot. Um, there's not really that many choices to make. It is more of a story that is slowly unfolding. So that is um, right, right at the start. The thing I um, did not very much like about the scenario is it felt more like we had to go through these uh, pre-thought of uh, cards and there wasn't really anything exciting that uh, of course the exciting things did happen there were a lot of plot twists with it that i did really like but it didn't really felt like i could have done this in a different way and get got to the same conclusion uh, and that just bummed us out a little bit and because at the end um we did feel like okay so now we know everything that happened and uh, we got to the end but did we really have a lot of influence on what happened? No, probably if we have done things differently, the same thing would have happened. So you should be aware of that. And it is not like, it did have more of a deduction style like Marcy case. And that is something that I do favor a lot more um, than really, if it's really, really puzzly. I do like puzzles, but for me, deduction puzzles are more fun, but it didn't really have uh, any puzzles in it. It was really more deduction. And even the deduction that was there, you didn't really feel like you deduced anything. It was just like more a preset set path that you follow and just let the story unfold. And the story itself is pretty good. Of course, this is the uh, first scenario that says mature audience only and I do get why they uh, put it on there um, because it did really have some um, yeah some uh, details that weren't really for the kids and of course a lot of my friends that also play time stories did say like but the first scenario wasn't really meant for kids either and I can say now with full confidence that this scenario does do, does put uh, a lot on top of what the first scenario Asylum did. So um, I can assure you, you should not play this scenario with your kids if you play Time Stories. It is pretty gory. There are um, also because yeah, it's a Hollywood party. So some things happen that should stay there in the Hollywood ads and we should not talk about it again. Um, so uh, I do have to say that this is a scenario I like the least of all the scenarios. Uh, just because, like I told you earlier, it didn't really feel like I had that much influence on what happened. It was more like a story that was told to me. And at the end, we did felt like a little bit, um, uh, yeah, like that we didn't really like it. And it just was a little bit disappointing, to be honest. So I was, yeah, at the start, when I heard about the Hollywood scenario, I was really excited about it. But I'm pretty sad to say that this would probably be one that if I knew how it was going to be, I would have skipped this one. Uh, it also took, I think it took us three, no, four runs to get it and we played it in like five hours. So that's pretty normal. Um, 
But all in all, yeah, this was not really, really the uh, scenario for me. But if you do want a, a rich, rich, rich story with lots of different people and you really like the deduction, then this is one you should definitely try out. And that is Time Stories Estrella Drive. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.